What are we working on? I'm gonna shut this engine off. Do a key on. It's not as loud. All right, I don't have time for a live stream, but we're gonna do one anyway, cause that's just the way we roll. Um, got a little music in the background. Hopefully that doesn't get me demonetized or in trouble or whatever. I don't really care right now. Um, where are we? Chevy Express van. I feel like Staten Island has more of these than any other vehicle. This one's a little work van. I got called in for throttle body codes, many of them. Um, that's all I know. It's got throttle body codes and the note said call Corey. So I'm out in the parking lot. Uh, look, we're out in the parking lot. Because that's where we do our best work. Nobody bothers me. So I got here and, oh, you know what I should do? I should show you all the codes I had. Under the heading of uh, my friend Chris Lewis from AT says, you live by the code, you die by the code. So don't always go by the codes, but they do help. Hold on, let's see if I can do this. Uh, let me go to the other side. I don't know where I'm going. <sighs> All right, a little, little ray in the background. If I can go back, yes, I'm working with two different scan tools because I grabbed one, put it away, and then uh, grabbed a different one because I'm confused. Let's see, let's see. Bear with me, bear with me. As you can tell, I'm not ready for this. I wasn't planning on going live, but I thought this was pretty cool. So, all right, here we go. This is what we had got when I walked up here. We got throttle position one, throttle actuator control module, position performance. As you can see, I actually didn't read through these too well. I just saw th throttle body codes, and at that point, we just go, you know what? They should just call this, you know what they should call this? P2100, throttle body broke. Um, because well, if you if you follow these too close, you'll, they'll definitely get a little thrown. So throttle actuator position performance, closed performance, one two correlation. We got all kinds of minimum throttle body not learned, which is actually that's the funny one, because that means somebody cleared it or did something and didn't relearn it. it. Doesn't just forget that. So I says, all right, somebody's been in. That tells me somebody's been in here, and then you got all this other junk. Okay, so I go through all my basic test i started up i checked my app uh my you know my pedal position one and two my throttle position one and two and man everything looks great i'm running the thing i'm doing it with key on engine off i am actually let me go to the other side i'm going key on engine off i'm going engine running i'm hitting the throttle and all my values look great let me where i'm at this is before i pulled the doghouse why because i hate pulling the doghouse on these like everybody does because look you can't even get it out this is the way i'm working unless i pull the seat i'm not pulling the seat in the parking lot all right One thing I don't like about this tool is that the graph will automatically range for you, and it's not always the same range. I got 4.8 and 2.4 over here, so they're not going to look the same. That's why I like the other tool better for this. They need to fix that. You should be able to set that and, and hold it, kind of like the hotel does. All right. Anyway, I'm doing this. I'm running the truck. I'm checking it. You know, both of them, they, they go opposite. One goes up, one goes down. If you don't know, well, it's service information. But... Like every other throttle position. One goes up, one goes down, and they need to correlate. So I'm doing this all day long, and everything looks great. I'm like, well, maybe the throttle body's just bad. Maybe it's dirty. Maybe it got stuck. But then I happen to see, let's see if we can see it. There's a brand new throttle body in there. I said, all right, well, somebody launched the throttle body on it, so I'm not going to go try to clean it because it's already been done. It's already been changed. They launched it. We've got the same codes. So we pulled the doghouse. Uh... What do I want? I want this one, right? I don't want this one. We can turn this one off. Don't kill the battery. Oh. So, where am I? So I pulled the doghouse off. And typical GM, all of the wire loom has fallen off. Right there. Uh, way back over there. Um, everywhere. Oh, let me put my hand in front of the camera. So, first thing I see. Let's see if I can get a light on this. Right there. Let's see. Whoa, it's too bright. Right there, it's better. That, if I can focus on it, come on, focus, ah, is rubbing on the valve cover bolt. I said, ooh, ooh. As I go says, I'd rather be lucky than good. But the problem is, that is not throttle, that's not for the throttle body. That goes down, I believe that's crank sensor and whatever else is down there. Okay, so, 
we do the old wiggle wiggle let's see if i can put this like this and straighten that out like that there's my light so can i do both oh, maybe i can okay so watch this i'm just going to take this here and we're going to give it a little wiggle i just won't do it now come on there it goes whoop whoop all right to be fair what i actually did was before i did this i cleared the codes i started it up I didn't even have my scan tool on at the moment. I just did this and I heard bing and the check engine light went on. And I got throttle position sensor to high voltage. Yeah, probably high voltage. So, wiggle, 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 wiggle. There it goes. And there's your problem, lady. And it's not, I don't think it's here. I think what I got is, no, I haven't finished troubleshooting this. Oh, shut that off. That's blinding. Let's see how bad it is in here. Uh, not terrible. I actually haven't even looked at this part yet. But that looks like it's, if it's not rubbed through, it almost is. Because all the insulation's gone, and it's sitting here going like this. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so. And in the meantime, you can see my throttle position's going crazy. So what I'm going to do is, if I can do this all in one shot, uh, put this up here. I'm going to reach in here real carefully, and I'm just going to grab the plug of the throttle body right there. I'm just going to touch it. Let's see. Ooh, touch it. There it is. And all I'm doing is wiggling the... Can I see it? Uh, you guys can't see it because my big hand's in the way. And let's, oh, there. Oh, maybe we can see it now. You see that plug in there? This is tough to do. Uh, right. 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 Get the camera, get my finger up right there. There's the plug. And all I'm going to do is just lean on this just a little bit. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. See where we're going, right? Ooh. I'm not touching anything else. Just that plug right there. I think we got a broken plug. I bet you if I take that out now, I haven't done gone that far, but I'm going to pull this plug in a second. I bet you one of the wires pulled out. Terminal tightness. PJ, I think the wire's going to be broken. I don't even think it's that. This is a GM. It's not a Toyota, man. These things just fall apart. It's unplugged. I'm going to have to get my head in here a little bit better, but I'm willing to bet one of them broke or is about to break. But I can't. I'm trying to hold my glasses on my face, hold the camera. Oh, look, I'm pointing you guys at the light. I'm blinding you guys, but... But... Just trying to see if anything was shorted. If I can wiggle it, nothing happens. We stay high because we're disconnected. And then I'm going to plug it back in. My back is killing me today, so I'm bent over this van. It's like torture. Look, I can't even get the plug back in now. I can't get it back in. <laughs> oh, gosh. Funny thing is that other wire and valve cover needs to be fixed, but it has nothing to do with the problem. Okay. Here we go. Now we're back down again. I got to plug back in. We're going to do the wiggle wiggle. There it goes. All right. I'm going to have to check this plug out. I just want to bring you guys along. I guess the point is don't get stuck on codes. Isn't it funny it's not doing it now? I this thing just wasn't plugged in all the way. There's no way. Oh, no, it's wheel a whole harness. Oh, never mind. There it goes. Nah, we're still broken. Now I'm just wiggling the whole harness. Bing, 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 bing. There it goes. It's actually better, though. Is that weird? I'm going to have to get in there and really check this wire. But I guess the point of the video is don't get stuck on codes. Don't don't, don't go on somebody's websites and go, oh, look, the first three items say, you know, let's throw those first three parts at it because it's got to be a throttle body because they're very common. And they are common, but that isn't the issue here. Come on. Now it's not going to do it. Which brings me to my second point. Don't touch stuff unless you can identify what's wrong with it because you may accidentally fix the problem. Like I just did. Ah, oh, you jerk. Now it's not doing it. <laughs> That's great. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It's not doing it now. Come on. All right, so lesson number two. Don't go unplugging stuff until you can really identify the issue. And then you accidentally fix it, and now I don't know what's really broken. So, 
uh, I'm gonna get back on to, uh, I'm gonna have to get my head in here, maybe take some of this junk out of the way so I can get a better look at that plug and the, and the wires and this is kind of junk anyway, not for nothing. This needs a lot of repair, this here, this here, typical, this thing's rubbing down in here. Ah, typical work van. All right, that's it guys, I just wanna share that with you. I don't know what the point was. Be diligent, don't launch parts. Go the extra step, take the doghouse off as much as it sucks. Wiggle some stuff around. Uh, diagnose, don't diagnose. Test, don't guess. And I said I gotta go, I got like six more today. This is number three. That's it, 10 minutes, 11 minutes into the video. That's long enough, I gotta go. Guys, I hope everybody's well and blah, blah, blah. Uh, I think there's a CTI webinar today, if anybody wants to check it out. Oscilloscopes, I forget who's doing it. Um, you can find that. Super Saturday's canceled, that's a bummer. A-S-T-E, down in North Carolina is a go. Everybody's going, not me, sorry. Um, and that's all. Hope you guys to see you. Hope to see you guys soon at some training events. Hope everybody's well. Bye.